Hello everyone, and welcome to a game of exploration and achievement. It is Cube World. And I'm sure there have been plenty of other people who are playing this before me. I didn't just get this, but I have been playing this an absolute ton, and I love it. Um, <clears throat> let's just get right into it. So, first things first, we need to find the first town, which is usually right next to us. So, in this playthrough of this game, I'm going to be playing as the Ranger because, well, it's like the only class I have not played with enough of. Um, yeah. I've messed with, actually, I have messed with all the classes. I just haven't messed with this one the most. My favorite class is either the Mage or Rogue. Because the mage is just fun to mess around with with its float. And the rogue is really good at killing things. So, we're going to look around for our class specialist. I'm still trying to decide if I like sniper or... I forget the other one. Scout, I think it is. I think I'm going to switch to scout because I hear the quicksand ability is very broken. Um... We don't really have any starting coins, so I can't really buy any weapons, like I usually do. Got the bird person right there. See, I've only played the... I, I have a little bit of time on this game. Not in, not like 36 hours or something ridiculous, but I do have at least 20. Um, this game has only been out for like 3, 4 days, I think 4 days by now. I've been, been wanting to record, but just haven't yet. Alright. Hmm. Yep. Wait a second. So you guys might be wondering why I'm playing as the warrior right now. Uh, I just spawned in the exact same spot with that ranger that I just made as I did with my knight because I remember seeing two of these enchanted forests and this icy little spot right here what are the chances of that? I don't really know if I want to continue that because I know where everything is also if you don't believe me you can literally it's the exact same name. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna exit to the menu, start menu, start game. We're gonna go down to Gobby, which is our ranger. The exact same biome. Look, there's Gaon Hill. There's Asura Village. What is? What are the chances of that? I have never had that happen before. I've never seen that happen before. That is utterly amazing. Um, but since I'm already playing in that kind of area, I'm gonna I'm gonna delete Gobby because I don't want I don't want to be in the same spot. That's just boring. I already know where everything is. Uh, he was a goblin. He just had the standard haircut. I think it doesn't really matter. Gobby. He's ranger. Good. Alright. We did spawn in some place new this time. Huh. I am so impressed by that. I that is never I've never seen that happen before. That is so bizarre. That's like a once in a lifetime. Like this world I'm pretty sure is um what's the word for it? It's kinda like no man's sky. Procedurally generated. And the chances that you spawn in the exact same biome that you did in another world, and you've only created five characters, is like, like infinitely impossible. I might have to just take that scene in general and just be like, this is actually amazing. That would make for a great side video, just like, I spawned in the same video, why is it dark? It should not be dark outside. Whatever. 
Um, all we'll have to do is destroy a couple things, get ten gold, and sleep. Gotta talk to some people so we can get some quests going, because I have no idea where anything is. Actually, one thing I do like to do when starting out is just mark all the big areas where I know where something is. There's definitely something over there. Anything that kind of extrudes from the main <laughs> mainland... Like that. I guess, I guess I don't need to mark that. Uh, but anything like that, where it just kind of wraps around it, that's definitely something of interest. Anything that looks odd, like, you know, this very odd purple part of land, which I know is an enchanted forest. That I know is a crater. That I know that's like a tower or something. Actually, what is that? Is that a tower? That is a tower. Okay, we're gonna have to deal with magic barriers in this land. But yeah, I messed around a little bit. I know what I'm doing. Oh, that's a probably an artifact. I've noticed that grottos and those castles are almost always. Okay, there actually might. That's a farm. I'm pretty sure. Nope, that's a mine or something. I saw this extrusion right here. But yeah, I'm down with giving a couple tips about what I've learned. Maybe you guys can see if you want to get this game yourself. I think it's pretty fun. I do think it is not without faults. There are definitely things that could be changed about it. For instance, adding a leveling system. I think that's another tower. Yep, there's a second tower. I think there should be a third somewhere, but I'm not going to look for it. There might be something up there. That looks like a big rock. I'm just going to mark it just in case. Alright. Yeah, let this be like a first time look for anyone who hasn't seen the game. I think it's fun. I definitely think there should be a level up system because I feel like you should be just getting the artifacts and leveling up only these purple stats is kind of annoying. You don't feel like you're getting stronger, I feel. <clears throat> However, that doesn't mean you don't. I do like the biome progression system. I just wish that... I just wish there was, like, an overall area that you could go in with the same level gear. Like, say, all of this area right here is in the same kind of vicinity of some kingdom or something, I guess. I kind of wish that as long as you stayed within that kingdom, you could use the same gear. But overall, I'm not going to like diss the game because of it. I get what I get what the developer was trying to do. I'm trying to do something different than the standard level up. But that doesn't mean Oh shoot, I still have I still have my same profession because I reset the character. Or not profession, uh subclass. So we're gonna go grab that. Oh yeah, I can do this while I'm in Sniper. Just gonna go to the specialist, change our thing, get some sheep, get some coins, sleep, because I don't want to deal with night. Night sucks. But I've also noticed that the stat increases from the artifacts aren't very high. I think those should be increased. I think heart flowers should be increased. Well, actually most of the plants should be increased, considering for any legendary item you have to, in order, if you ever want to craft them, not that you need to. Um, you need 50, like, silk, say, and it that just is a pain to get. That just doesn't sound worth it to me. I don't know why I'm charging that up. I need to attack something first. Yeah, I definitely seem to be doing a lot more damage. And it definitely seems to be a lot easier to actually kill stuff. Probably can't say kill them. On YouTube, but, you know, whatever. I'm not monetized right now anyway, so... 
trying to fix that. I'm trying to get some more subs. Dang, I really like the Archer. A lot of people say the Archer isn't the most OP class, but I think it is. You can do a lot of damage fast, and it's generally pretty bulky, in my opinion. I do like wizards, though, or mages, I guess. Oh god, I'm gonna die to chickens. I don't wanna die to chickens. Hey, if I do this, I can knock him out. Yeah, this quicksand ability is pretty nice, I must say. And now that we have at least 10 gold, I can go sleep off the night. I definitely think that water mages had the easiest time starting off. Like, let's be honest, being able to heal that much early game is quite ridiculous. That is why mages are one of my top tier classes. However, their late game though is not too good. I must say, going up against any artifact areas with yellow bosses is pretty tough because Whoops, I just activated my ability by accident. I keep still pressing R because that's how the original alpha was. You press R to talk to people. And, yeah. Alright. Where are we going to go now? Let's head for that enchanted forest. Got to go someplace interesting. Oh, we just got a new place. Oh, I think that's the enchanted forest we're going to. Okay, we're not going there. Because that's kind of boring. That's a castle, right? It's got to be. I've never seen one of those castles spawn in the middle of the area. I guess we're going to that p potential special place. Get rid of that. No, not that. Actually, yeah, that. We're going to go to that rock. Not that we can probably climb it yet. Oh yeah, I can sprint now with this scout. Yeah, I've noticed that mages have pretty good mobility as well. Their flutter, or their float, I guess, when you're holding shift, can be combined with their jump, and you can just go for miles. And I think there's even an exploit where if you just spam shift, you can just pretty much go for infinity. Get some lore there. Chillings, I don't want you till I get... I forget what they take. I've looked this stuff up already, but can't ever remember it so much. Let's go talk to these guys. Oh, get some lag. Oh man, I might have to turn down the render distance. This game uses a lot of CPU. Actually, it's probably because it uses 100% of my CPU. Oh, there's only full and reduced. Um, let's turn down the render distance. We don't need to load that far anyway. That's a little better. Very little. Alright. <clears throat> I'm just gonna keep on trucking over here. Oh, this way. I forgot. I'm gonna move to the side because of those skull bowls, and I don't want to deal with that. Or did they reveal where the crafting epic crafting book was? They did. Cool. It's that crater. One thing I will say about the crafting system is... I mean, I get that you have to... You know, it makes sense for, like, a purple item to be in a blue area, or a... a you know, the legendary crafting book to be in a purple area. But then again... That kind of defeats the purpose of crafting, because, like, once you have the gear to go up against it, you don't even need to craft legendary gear.
but I guess it is there if you ever need, like want full legendary gear, which you really don't need. I've actually I've found multiple artifacts that are guarded by a blue boss, and I have no idea why. I'm pretty sure they're almost always supposed to be guarded by yellow bosses, or I guess legendary, I don't know why I'm calling them yellow. Probably can't take on greens yet. I'm gonna wait on greens till we get some better weaponry. Also, if you're wondering why I'm using the... I don't even know what this weapon's called. Just a wood boomerang? Yeah, I guess these are boomerangs. Um, if you're wondering why I'm using a boomerang... Uh, is that guy chasing me? No, he's not. Okay. Grab some apples so we can heal if we need to without using potions because I really don't like wasting potions because heart flowers are kind of hard to find. In fact, I don't even think I've found a single one. What is that over there? Oh, it's just a barrel. Check out that clear log. can find loot in some of the logs. Usually I find them in the sides of mountains, but I have found a couple that are standard. Hey, a heart flower. Oh yeah, I like... Oh man, this weapon hits so much. It's like, perfect. Alright, we're gonna check out this log. I keep forgetting I can sprint. I always forget that that is not just a... Uh, oh jeez, is it purples? Well, I guess this area is purple. I guess we can check the top of this thing as well. Okay, yeah, there's nothing here. Heart flower. I'm gonna heal up really quick. I do like how there is not a power rank system anymore. Or power level. I forget what it was called in this game. I think it's just called power. Um... Because then you don't have to make a million different potions that you feel like you have to use in order to use the other ones. Because I remember in the alpha, you'd have to... Every time you'd get, like, a number of different power level, like say it was like 86 and you leveled up to like 87 or something, it would, not every time, but most of the times it would unlock a new food thing, or new leveled food thing that you can craft. I forgot I was going this way. Oh yeah, there's definitely something up there. Maybe. I don't know. I found rocks like this that are not... Anyway. Um, you would... Oh, there might be something there. Stuff keeps distracting me. I really just want to find some legendary item in one of these, because I know you can get legendary items in these. Doesn't look like there's anything here. May as well be thorough. So, for instance, you would have, like, oh, a level 86, like, pumpkin uh, muffin or something, and then you level up or something eventually, and then you'd unlock the next level, the pumpkin muffin, and then you'd want to use those because they're better, but you feel like you have to use the other ones because you still have them. And, I don't know, it's just kind of annoying because I, I kind of like that they got rid of that and now you only have just a potion to craft instead of like level 1s, level 10s, level 20s potions that all heal for different amounts. It kind of seems like everything scales to your level, which I really like because I don't Who likes carrying around a million potions and gathering all the stuff to craft all that? I know I don't. I mean, not that it had inventory space or something. Sorry, Terriers. But I need your money and potentially anything you got. Man, I'm really liking this quicksand ability. 
I like it a lot more than the Shadow Sniper or Shadow Clone or whatever the other one is for Sniper. <coughs> How long have we been going? 17 minutes on this section of the recording. make this kind of long. I do not. I really badly want spitters. I can never get... I think it's like ice or something that you give, give them. Water ice. At least that's how it was in Alpha. I think that's what it took. Also, I love the music. So glad they added that. Makes the experience that much better. And there's still some stuff I haven't even figured out yet, like what to do with lemons. I think you make some special thing with them, but I don't know what. And I haven't even explored every biome yet. I've only cleared a plains. Um, I've explored a forest. I've cleared a underworld biome, because I don't want to say the other name for it. Um, I'm my rogue world, I'm in the middle of taking on a desert. Uh, I've, I haven't cleared, I was playing with some friends a couple days ago and we moved on to a jungle, but we never completed it because they wanted to go somewhere else, I don't know why. Um, I still need to clear a forest. Which is different from a plains, even though it's the same kind of biome. And then I also still need to clear an ice biome. So, we still got a lot of biomes to clear. Maybe I'll try to do, uh, like, seasons of this. There'll be, like, four seasons or one for every class in case there's any more that are added to the game. I would really like to see more classes added to this game. That would, that would be awesome. More content. Maybe a story. A storyline to this game would make it five times better than it is right now. Like, if I had an ending goal that I would work to, that would be awesome. I also really like the instant charge-up. I think that's what that is when I get the purple or the pink things around me. I think that's an instant charge-up. Keep walking, got some heart flowers over here. Like to avoid bats at all possible. I found that bats are actually quite annoying, especially when they're a boss. I faced a couple legendary bats and a legendary bat boss. And they were awful. I don't know why, but they just always knock you down. Oh my god, don't climb. kind of surprised we haven't found something that is worth our time. We've pretty much been only getting crafting books and gnomes, which, I mean, they do drop good gear if you complete their quest, but I won't be able to complete a blue quest right now, or a purple quest right now. I need, like, the white gnome or something. Ooh, a shrine of resurrection. That's really good, because I'm kind of far away from the town and I have yet to even activate one. Usually I like to stick in the town a little more so I can get more things, but that would be really boring and I don't feel like cutting episodes. I'd rather just get to the nitty gritty of everything and let you guys experience this, especially if you don't. Uh, especially if you don't know if you want to buy this game. I recommend it. There are bound to be updates to the game. There has to be. Developer, I would imagine, is in love with their game, as most creators should. I've never had the experience of creating a game. I've been thinking about it. But, you know. I'll do it eventually. Show it off, maybe sell it, I don't know. It'd be fun, it would take a while though. Cotton. I know I don't need cotton, probably. Actually, I think the linen stuff does take... 
think the linen stuff does take uh, linen yarn. Actually, I don't even know how to get linen yarn. Is that just? I guess I could check. Is that this? Oh yeah, this. Wait, no, that's from. Okay, I don't even need to collect cotton. I didn't even know that the crafting recipes were different when you're a different class. That's interesting. And these boomerangs are just insane. Hit the terrier. And that guy, and that one. Hopefully my quicksand is still up. Oh, it is not. So, okay, good. Can't knock that guy out. I was about to say, you should get knocked out, Terrier. Alright. I got a silk chest plate, which I don't think I can use yet. That's for mages. I need linen. The pain and suffering of getting the wrong gear. Alright, we're at 24 minutes. I think that's probably good for the first episode. If you enjoyed this episode, you should give this video a thumbs up, Aruni. Um, I hope you want to see more because I'm definitely going to be recording more of this later days. Um, yeah, just I'll see you around. I might explore a tiny bit more because I don't want this. I don't want it to record all the exploration because it's a little boring. Granted, it'll get a lot faster the later on we go. And so, yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye.